Hey all, it's Scott from Your365 Coach, and today I'm going to help you by showing you new ways to manage your meeting notes in Microsoft Teams using the power of Microsoft Loop. Because yes, every single week we have meetings in Teams and it become a real pain to be able to organize all of your meeting notes, both in the meeting and also later with sharing them with others and putting them in one single place where you and your team can access those all important notes. And I'm gonna show you how we can do all of that with new capabilities inside of Loop and Teams to bring meeting notes all together in one seamless experience. And before we dive in, I'd love it if that subscribe button to find more great content like this, and also hit that like button to let me know that this content has worked for you. So how about we head into Teams and in Loop and find a new way for you to manage your meeting notes. So you've joined me in Microsoft Teams and I've opened up a new meeting invitation. And here is a quick refresher is how we can add meeting notes for any of your meetings. Yes, for a Teams invitation, all you'll need to do is go to the bottom of the invite and select to add meeting notes, which then generates a loop page where you can now add your agenda for the meeting that you've got coming up. It's a great way then to have access to these meeting notes inside of Teams. Let's go ahead and add a few points for our agenda. With our agenda added, let's go ahead and click on the send button to get this invitation sent out. We can join the meeting inside of Microsoft Teams. And when you join your meeting in Teams, well, you're now gonna see on the right hand side that the meeting notes tab automatically appears with your agenda already added inside of it. You can go ahead and check off these points as your meeting progresses, really easy to do. But in addition, did you know that your meeting notes can go further? Most people only use these three elements we can see inside of your notes, but you can do much more inside of this content because let's consider this as a loop page. A loop page allows us to add different components and content that we can also add inside of loop. So as an example here, if I was to click on the enter key, you can see I can add further space. By clicking on the forward slash key, we now see all of that different loop content that I can add straight in to our loop meeting notes. Here I add a separate heading, and now I'm gonna add the heading for the PR content, because we need a draft to share with stakeholders and how we're doing with our project scoping. Now in addition, as I've added a heading, if I have a Microsoft Copilot license, I can also again click forward slash and select draft page content. And now I can ask Copilot to draft us up that content and word he needed to share with our senior stakeholders just by adding in a single prompt. With our prompt added into the Copilot dialog, I'll go ahead and click on send and you'll see that Copilot now drafts content directly in our meeting notes. That now means that we can take this and we can also share it with our senior stakeholders later. But not only Copilot, you can use any other type of loop content and bring it straight into your meeting notes because meeting notes are much more powerful than just a living simple notes capability. Managing your meeting notes using the power of Microsoft Loop is just scratching the surface. And if you wanna find great new ways to work with Microsoft Loop that can transform the way that you work, then why not check out our latest on-demand masterclass at Your365 Coach, where we focus on Microsoft Loop and how it can work for you, whether that's taking notes, writing up new content, sharing it with colleagues, building workspaces, and even creating a personal area to bring all of your personal notes together. We look at a wide range of different topics inside of Loop to help you use it in much better ways. You'll find more information on how to enroll to our latest masterclass in the video description below. Other than that, let's continue to check out the new meeting notes experiences. But as you know, it can be quite tricky when it comes to picking out all of those meeting notes over weeks and months of the past. And now there's a simple trick in Microsoft Loop to make this so much better. Let's go ahead and open up Microsoft Loop and you'll see a new section called meeting notes in the top left. By left clicking, you'll see all of your meeting notes over a given week. Select the calendar icon and you can change the week to look at different meetings that have occurred over those different weeks. When you've found the meeting notes you need, left click into them and you'll see them here on the screen. Really simple to go back all between your meeting notes. But what if you want to share this with your wider project team or organize it into one of your other loop workspaces? Well, that is entirely possible. All we need to do is click on share 
select page link and now a link will be generated to provide access to this content. Here these loop minutes could now be shared with anyone in the organisation who could also update them too. But I'm quite happy with that because there's nothing confidential here. By heading into our loop workspace in Project Green Space here, click on the plus icon, select new link and just paste in the link that we've just copied. Now loop is already aware this is now a loop page. It appears on the left hand side and we just left click and drag it down under the relevant section inside of our loop workspace. Now ensuring we've got quick access both to me and the wider team to all of the meeting notes that go across Project Green Space. But you may be thinking, well Scott, is it possible to share our meeting notes with external parties? Great for internal parties have access to our loop workspace, but what if these notes need to be shared elsewhere with third parties? Well, we can also do that as well. With Loop now supporting the ability to share content externally, we can now go to the share icon on your relevant notes page, and then we can select page link once again. That now done, we can now go ahead and click on settings. We can now select people you choose, input in the email addresses of the people you'd like to share these meeting notes externally with. Let's go ahead and add in one of our outlook.com accounts into this field here. Once I've input the external email address I'd like to share this with, we can go ahead, left click and now define the level of access. Should the third party only have access to read these notes or instead edit them as well? And also, should we set an expiry date of when this then link will also expire? With that then all set up and ready to go, select apply and the link that you now have can be shared with the third party on an email that they can then follow. And when the third party then follows that link, they'll be prompted to sign in. But as you can see here behind me, they'll now be able to have access to those meeting notes. And because they had edit rights, they can check off the other points in the agenda or add any other further notes I would like into the meeting. Now allowing you to share these notes externally with third parties is even more powerful with the use of Microsoft Loop. But what about reoccurring meetings? I've got a number of meetings that happen and they're all reoccurring. Well, not to worry, the new meeting notes section will also support that use. Here is a reoccurring meeting we had on Tuesday, Project Greenspace status meetings. By left clicking, we can see there's been two instances of this reoccurring meeting over two weeks. I can left click through these different meeting notes and see them uniquely in each of these tabs. So this means that now reoccurring meetings and your meeting notes are now fully supported in Loop. You can get back to them really easy by just selecting them inside of your calendar view under meeting notes and have quick access to all of them. So now recurring meeting notes are even easier with the help of Loop. So what do you think about these new Loop experiences built in Teams? Personally, I think it's fantastic that we now have a way to manage reoccurring meetings and access all of your meeting notes. I know there's been many comments across many of our videos on Loop that have called this out as being a particular problem. But now we've got a solution with the new meeting notes tabs inside of the Loop app. But I'd love to know what you think about these changes. What would you like to see in the future with Loop and Teams and further improve the meeting note experiences? And of course, if you haven't already hit that like button and also the all important subscribe button because you're gonna miss out if not on all of the great content we put out every week to help you use the tools you already have in much better ways. Other than that, well, as you know, I'll be seeing you on the next one.